All right, all right, all righty, all right. What's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs, day number 1301. That's right, everybody. Hope you are doing well. If this is your first time on the channel, first and foremost, welcome. Make sure to leave a comment right now saying first timer so I could say what's up to you. But if you've been here before, leave a comment saying before so I could also say what's up to you. And um, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That's right. Hit that red subscribe button. If you haven't, hit the like button. Let's get 200 thumbs up and let's jump into this. So this email comes from blaker 209 so everyone say thank you to blaker 209 and he's talking about grubhub purposely breaching food order contracts to dupe us into accepting orders so blake says hi pete i'm into my 13th month with grubhub and i'm proud to say i'm on the doordash waiting list is grubhub going out of business this entire weekend they've been sending me the you will only need to pay orders uh, to dupe me into accepting the order only to arrive at the restaurant and no order placed but to make matters worse after I remove the order because it's fake news they now have the ability to erase their digital footprints in the earnings box is this legal what they're doing fake addresses virtual restaurants etc I read online Grubhub is currently facing seven serious lawsuits so I'm patiently accruing a dossier for when I receive a letter in the mail asking of my signature for a class action lawsuit. I look forward to jumping on that bandwagon. I'm truly pissed. Blake, Blaker209, my trucking name. P.S. I love your YouTube channel. Keep up the good work. Um, well, Blake, I'm glad you like the YouTube channel. Um, as I've said many times in the past, Grubhub is the app that brought me into this gig economy when it comes to food delivery back in 2017. So I've been doing this for four years now. Um, I'm a little confused, I guess, with your email, but I, I wanted to put it out there in case anybody else that drives for Grubhub uh, understands what's going on. What I will say is, yes, I did make a video not too long ago talking about the lawsuits. I believe it was up to like 14 you said seven, so I think there was 14 lawsuits because of the investments or the investors uh, due to the uh, purchase from Just Eat Takeaway of Grubhub that was announced uh, about a year ago. So when you say uh, they've been sending you orders of you will only need to pay orders, dupe me into accepting the order only to arrive at the restaurants and no order placed, what I are you trying to say like the place and pay orders when you say you will only need to pay orders because that's where it's confusing me a little bit. Um, and then when you say, but to make matters worse, after I remove the order, uh, they now have the ability to erase their digital footprints in the earning box. That part confused me a little bit too. Um, is this what they're doing? Fake addresses, virtual restaurants, etc. I don't know what you mean by that. Um, the virtual restaurants thing, if you're talking about the um, the like the ghost kitchens thing or whatever, that's a real thing that I, I know DoorDash was starting with that. And I believe Grubhub uh, is starting to do that as well. I made a video not too long ago about the Mario Lopez restaurant that he started, I believe, in Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. So um, as far as I know, uh, I think everything that you're talking about, I think is technically legal. Um, again, I just feel like there's a lot of like plot holes in your email. I feel like we're missing some information here. Um, but I can definitely confirm with you, uh, about the lawsuits. Cause that is absolutely confirmed. You mentioned that you saw up to seven. Like I said, I've seen up to 14 in an article that I read. Um, and that was due to investors not getting like the full information, um, in regards to the buyout from Just Eat Takeaway. Uh, so is Grubhub going out of business? As of right now, I'm going to say no. Um, but it, it definitely sounds like something screwy is going on. And it's interesting that you mentioned 
that you're into your 13th month with Grubhub. So you're, you've been doing this for a year and a month now. And, you know, you're proud to say you're on the DoorDash waiting list. I'm glad that you're at least diversifying, that you're not just on Grubhub. Um, like I've said many times, Grubhub in my particular market sends enough uh, orders so that I don't have to cherry pick and multi-app with other apps. Grubhub keeps me busy enough in my particular market. But what is the golden rule of the gig economy? Every market is different. Period. So I'm glad you're going on DoorDash. I would even say get onto Uber Eats as well. You know, but I would say don't use DoorDash necessarily as your primary unless you have no choice. I would say always go with Grubhub. OK, and Uber Eats as a second and DoorDash as your second. But then again, there are some people that swear by DoorDash. Some people love it that they're a top dasher and they make enough money or whatever, you know, or just as a cherry picker. They have a zero percent acceptance rate and they do well with that. I don't know. But to answer your question, is Grubhub going out of business? I'm going to say no. OK, um, if you could give me a little bit of clarification with the you will only need to pay orders. Um, are you talking about like the place and pay card where like you have to go in and place the order for the customer and give them the Grubhub debit card or are you talking about something else? So let me know. Anybody who ever wants to send me any information or question, uh, something they want me to make a video on, let me know whether or not you want me to use your name, of course, but email it to pay to drive stories at gmail.com paid to drive stories at gmail.com. I do want to take this time right now to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. Okay. These people give a little something every month. And my way of saying thank you as a perk is I give them all shout outs in all my new videos. So when you hear your name called, say, Hey Pete, I heard my name in the comments or in the chat over there. So I know you heard it. And uh, link is in the description and in the pin top comment if you are interested in checking out and signing up. Uh, of course, our ultimate driver, Marie Sabo Boutwell at $100 per month. And of course, we have Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Serena Siddiqui, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau. Agus, what's up? Mr. Du Duplessis, how you doing? Alan G. Van Horn. Uh, Drew Honor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Brian Richardson, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs for all of you. Uh, and of course, Make sure to download the Get Upside Gas app. Start saving money on your gas today. There's the free link for your smartphone down below. Click Show More in the description. Download it for free. You pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it. And uh, what else we got here? Of course, you can own one of these awesome live to drive, drive to live, pay to drive shirts over at paytodrivestore.com. That's right. Everything's on sale. T-shirts, hoodies and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. Links down below. Go get yourself something nice. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment end 739, end 739. Let's me know you made it to the end. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on the notification bell to the right so you don't miss any future uploads. And let's see if we can get 200 likes on this video. Comment 111 if you hit the like, 222 if you haven't yet. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Take care, everyone. Peace out. Drive safe.